I'm a colonel Danny Shapira, retired of the Israeli Air Force. I served 25 years in the service and uh, another uh, 19 years in the reserve. I was a chief test pilot for many years in the Israeli Air Force and by being chief test pilot, I, I could fly all types of aeroplanes which flew in the Israel Air Force and in many other Air Force. I have more than 12,000 flying hours and I flew over a hundred types of different uh, aeroplanes. I flew in six wars. When I looked around me here in this country, surrounded with more than a hundred million Arabs, and we are a small country, only 600,000 people without qualified pilots. My first thought was, I would like to become a pilot. I have to be a pilot because this is the most important part of the forces. And I was lucky. I was sent to Czechoslovakia at the beginning of the war. I was trained in Czechoslovakia. I did not finish the training yet. We were told that we have to leave Czechoslovakia as soon as possible. And we have to fly the Spitfires that we bought there to fly them to Israel. If we don't fly them within three or four weeks, they will stay here. There were no options. We had to fly the Spitfires in order to be able to fly them back to Israel. In Israel, the war was going on and there were not enough Israeli pilots in Israel. Most of the pilots were Machal pilots. But in order to ferry Spitfires from Czechoslovakia, they needed to send 12 pilots from Israel to take them out of the middle of the war to ferry Spitfires. They could only send 10 pilots. They were missing, they were missing two pilots. George Richter decided that Moti Hod and Danny Shapiro will fly in the Operation Velveta and will ferry Spitfire to Israel. We flew with our hearts for Israel. We knew if we don't win, that's the end of us. We will not survive. So we have to be qualified and devoted to the missions, whatever they do. And in order to get some of those aeroplanes that we bought in Czechoslovakia, and because of the uh, political situation, they told us that we have to stop flying and go back uh, to Israel and take the aeroplane with us. We, we, uh, George didn't have any choice. And uh, Sam Pomeranz, who was the commander, he told George, how can you take those two guys? They are young, they don't have the experience, they never flew in weather. It was December 48. We had to fly weather, we had to fly uh, instruments, which we didn't have. Uh, he said, I take the responsibility, I will lead them, they will fly on my wing, and we will make it. And it so happened. At that time, the 101 squadron was one of the best squadrons with uh, foreign pilots here in Israel and against all the Arab pilots around us, they were the best. The Machal were the best and most qualified. My greatest hope is to have peace in the, the area. But if we don't have, and I, but I don't see the peace arriving so fast, which means that we will have to have 
always the best air force, the strongest army, and the strongest navy in the area. And uh, we don't need volunteers anymore. We can do it ourselves. Yes. We can fight because it's our country and we are fighting for our lives. Uh, this is why one of the factors, I think, that uh, our pilots are considered in the world excellent pilots. We have the best aeroplanes. America is doing a lot, is giving us a lot of uh, uh, help, help to survive because Israel cannot survive by itself. We cannot uh, uh, build so many new types of aeroplanes. We have to have, we have to have uh, America, and we are very thankful to America that is doing, uh, doing the best to help us. Aero TV is brought to you by Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.